In this tutorial, you're going to learn how to make your own custom symbols. First, open the Drawing tab. Make sure that Show Subgrid, Snap to Subgrid, and Show Connection Points are all selected. If we zoom in, we can see the grid. The large dots are the grid, and the small dots are the subgrid. Now you can start drawing your symbol using the tools provided. For this example, I'm going to draw a normally open push button different to the one in the library. I'll choose Add Line Segment. Then I draw my symbol with a few clicks. Once you're done, hit Escape, then click and drag to select the entire symbol, then click Create Graphical Block. A window will pop up, saying the next step is to click on the block to define its insertion point. We're now going to define the insertion point of the symbol we've just created. In other words, where the symbol is going to be attached to the mouse cursor when we add it to a drawing from the library. I'll demonstrate this later. Click OK. You'll notice that the small black cross near the mouse cursor snaps to the large dots. This means that the insertion point must be on the large dots, the grid. Keep this in mind when creating your symbol. I'll choose this point here as my insertion point. Another window will say, now you will need to specify through the following dialog box the type of element this block will represent. Skycat is simply asking what type of symbol this is. Click OK. This is a push button, so I'll select Button. Click OK. Now that the block has been created, we can see that a tag has been added. We can move this tag if we want by clicking and dragging. Also, if we click the symbol now, the symbol is one solid block instead of individual lines. Now we need to add connection points. This will tell the software where connections will connect to the symbol. Click Add Connection Point. Like adding an insertion point, we can only select points on the grid, the large dots. This also needs to be kept in mind when creating a symbol. Once you click to define a connection point, a red circle, cross, and a connection point number will appear. Once you're done, hit Escape. Like the tag, connection point numbers can be moved around. Now that our symbol has been created, we need to save it. Make sure the symbol is selected, click on the Home tab, and click Save As. Give it a name, I'm going to call it Normally Open Push Button. Click Save. Normally open push button, save to catalog, click OK. Once you've saved your symbol, a shortcut will appear in the library under the heading that you currently have open, which in this case is General Schematics 1. Now you can select it and add it to your drawings as usual. As I mentioned before, the insertion point is the point on the symbol that follows the mouse cursor. Connection points are still shown with red circles. To demonstrate connection points, I'm going to draw a control connection through the symbol. As you can see, the software recognizes the connection points. If you want to modify your symbol, there are two different ways to do it. First, you can make the change you want, such as move the position of a connection point number Then select the symbol, then click Save. SkyCAD will ask if you want to overwrite the symbol, click Yes. Save to Catalog, OK. Now when we insert the symbol from the library, we can see that the connection point has moved to its new position. The second method of modifying the symbol 
is to select the symbol, then select Open Block. A new tab will open whereby you can edit the symbol. I've decided I want a round looking push button instead of a square looking one. So I'll open the drawing tab once again, delete these lines and replace them with an arc. I'll hold control on my keyboard so I can select multiple lines at a time. Right click, delete, I'll add an arc, click once, twice, three times, hit escape when I'm done. Now you need to make sure that you haven't got anything selected. Then you go to the Home tab and click Save. SkyCAD will ask if you want to overwrite it. Select Yes. Save to the catalog. OK. Now I can close this window. Do you want to close the window? Yes. Now we can see that the shortcut in the library shows the change that we just did. When we add the symbol to the drawing, we can see that the change has been done. This is a simple example, but you can make much more complex symbols, such as soft starters and variable speed drives, using the exact same principles.